there. Welcome to Sunday morning service with uh, Holy Trinity Episcopal Church in Juneau, Alaska. This is Sunday the 13th of September, the 15th Sunday after the Pentecost. I'm Bruce Simonson. I'm not Father, father Pastor Gordon. That is Gordon Blue. He is on leave traveling with his son, John. We invite you to join us in this prayer service. The bulletin can be found online at trinityjuno.org, O-R-G. The bulletin is there. This uh, service, scriptures readings are from Exodus chapter 14 and from Matthew chapter 18. And in place of the psalm, we have the Song of Miriam, which is also from Exodus in chapter 15. Hope you enjoy our service today, and uh, we'll begin now with the opening sentences. We gather to give thanks for all the blessings and hope of life. We praise God, we rejoice and give thanks. We join our voices in praise and thanksgiving. In all things, may God be glorified. Blessed be God, most holy, glorious, and undivided Trinity. And blessed be God's reign, now and forever. Amen. Christ, the light of the world has come to dispel the darkness of our hearts. In this light, let us examine ourselves and confess our sin. God of all mercy, we confess that we have sinned against you, opposing your will in our lives. We have denied your goodness in each other, in ourselves and in the world that you have created. We repent of the evil that enslaves us and the evil we and the evil done on our behalf. Forgive, restore, and strengthen us through our Savior, Jesus Christ, that we may abide in your love and serve only your will. Amen. Almighty, Almighty God, God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through the grace of Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Today's lesson, Old Testament lesson, is from Exodus. The angel of God who was going before the Israelite army moved and went behind them, and the pillar of cloud moved from in front of them and took its place behind them. It came between the army of Egypt and the army of Israel, and so the cloud was there with the darkness and it lit up the night. One did not come near the other all night. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. The Lord drove the sea back by a strong east wind all night and turned the sea into dry land, and the waters were divided. The Israelites went into the sea on dry ground, the waters forming a wall for them on their right and on their left. The Egyptians pursued and went into the sea after them, all of Pharaoh's horses, chariots, and chariot drivers. At the morning watch, the Lord in the pillar of fire and cloud looked down upon the Egyptian army and threw the Egyptian army into panic. He clogged their chariot wheels so that they turned with difficulty. The Egyptians said, let us flee from the Israelites for the Lord is fighting for them against Egypt. Then the Lord said to Moses, stretch out your hand over the sea so that the water may come back upon the Egyptians upon their chariots and chariot drivers. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and at dawn the sea returned to its normal depths. As the Egyptians fled before it, the Lord tossed the Egyptians into the sea. The waters returned and covered the chariots and the chariot drivers. The entire army of Pharaoh that had followed them into the sea, not one of them remained. But the Israelites walked on dry ground through the sea, the waters forming a wall for them on their right and on their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day from the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians dead upon the seashore. Israel saw the great work that the Lord did against the Egyptians, so the people feared the Lord and believed in the Lord and in his servant Moses. Here ends the lesson. The Lord 
I sing uplifted, high and powerful to sail. He hurled the rider and his horse beneath the Red Sea's wave. My strength, my refuge, Savior Lord, the God whom I acclaim. A warrior strong, my people's God, and Yahweh is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh has he hurled into the sea. The finest arms and arm all he drowned while we walk free. The deep has overwhelmed them all, they sank down like a stone. Your right hand. can be compared with you in holiness and dread. When you stretch forth your mighty arm, your enemies fall dead. Yet with your constant love you led the people you redeemed and brought them safely to the land of which our fathers dreamed. Alleluia, alleluia. Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. You have the words of eternal life. Alleluia. The Gospel reading from St. Matthew. Peter came and said to Jesus, Lord, if another member of the church sins against me, how often should I forgive? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, not seven times, but I tell you, 77 times. For this reason, the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wishes to settle accounts with his slaves. When he began the reckoning, one who owed him 10,000 talents was brought to him. And as he could not pay, his Lord ordered him to be sold, together with his wife and children and all his possessions and payment to be made. So the slave fell on his knees before him saying, have patience with me and I will pay you everything. And out of pity for him, the Lord of that slave released him and forgave him the debt. But that same slave, as he went out, came upon one of his fellow slaves who owed him a hundred denarii and seized him by the throat. He said, pay what you owe. Then his fellow slave fell down and pleaded with him, have patience with me and I will pay you. But he refused. Then he went and threw him into prison until he would pay the debt. When his fellow slaves saw what had happened, they were greatly distressed. And they went and reported to their Lord all that had taken place. Then his Lord summoned him and said to him, You wicked slave, I forgave you all that debt because you pleaded with me. Should you not have had mercy on your fellow slave as I had mercy on you? And in anger, his Lord handed him over to be tortured until he would pay his entire debt. So my father will also do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother and sister from your heart. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people.
us declare our faith in God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. We believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ gave us the pattern for all prayer, and so we gladly say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O God, because without you we are not able to please you, mercifully grant that your Holy Spirit may in all things direct and rule our hearts. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Through the waters of oppression and death, Lord God, you led a people into the burning presence of your love. As you fed them in the desert, now feed us with the finest of wheat, that we may know the liberating power of the Paschal Feast. Amen. Lord, let your loving kindness always go before us, follow us, and lead us continually to do good. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. God of peace and justice, Help us to change so that we work for a world that mirrors your wisdom. Give us the desire to act in solidarity so that the pillars of injustice crumble and those now crushed are set free. Amen. Almighty and merciful God, source of all life, health, and healing, look with compassion on our world brought low by disease. Protect us in the midst of the grave challenges that assail us if fatherly providence grant recovery to the stricken, strength to those who care for them, and success to those working to eradicate this scourge, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God of grace and mercy, give your blessings to the Diocese of Alaska. Watch over our churches, sustain our people, and strengthen our leaders. Through the Holy Spirit, guide and guard the Diocese. Keep it always under your care and protection. Let us be a loving family, serving you in faithful devotion to the gospel of your Son, Jesus Christ, in whose holy name we pray. Amen. God of mercy and healing, you who hear the cries of those in need, receive these petitions of your people that all who are troubled may know peace, comfort, and courage. We ask your prayers in our church for our presiding Bishop Michael Curry, for the Anglican Church of South America, for our Bishop Mark Latim and his family. In this diocese, we ask your prayers for St. Augustine's Church in Homer, and in this deanery for St. John's in Ketchikan. Lord, look with special favor on those in leadership positions, especially our president, our governor, our mayor, and all elected officials. We ask for your mercy and loving kindness for the residents of our court, the Pioneer Home, the Lemon Creek Correctional Center, the Johnson Youth Center, Family Promise, Haven House, and the Glory Hole. We ask special prayers for Juno's homeless, 
and the lonely and those with financial difficulties. We pray for the end of violence and racism. We look forward to the days of peace and safety and to your loving care. We pray fervently for the end of the COVID-19 pandemic. We ask for special prayers for Sharon and Peter, Leah and Kira, Kathy Moss, Alan and Rhonda Gaines, Phil and Janet, Mary, Lori R, Father Wilson, Tony, Tina, the Coleman family, Buzz and Monica, Stephen Ruff, and all of those helping fight the fires down in the lower 48. We have special thanksgivings for the beautiful sun that Gino is experiencing this weekend and for the loving community that remains loving and supportive online through this pandemic. Lord, please help the souls and remember us who grieve for the departed, for Liz Saya, for Kathy Colcross Reddy, and for all who have died during this pandemic. We invite your petitions and intercessions at this time. Life-giving God, heal our lives that we may acknowledge your wonderful deeds and offer you thanks from generation to generation through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. This is the time set aside for additional prayers. We have prayers for birthdays. And we have one birthday this week for Alina Valentine. O oh God, our times are in your hand. Look with favor, we pray, on your servant Alina as she begins another year. Grant that she may grow in wisdom and grace and strengthen her trust in your goodness all the days of her life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
We ask now for prayers for anniversaries. God of tenderness and strength, you have brought John and Susan together and led them into marriage. Continue with them now as they travel through good times, through trouble or through change. Bless their home, their partings and their meetings. Make them worthy of each other's best and tender with each other's dreams. Trusting in your love in Jesus Christ. Amen. The travelers that we know about at this time are Julie, John, John, and Father Gordon. Lord God, our Father, you kept Abraham and Sarah in safety throughout the days of their pilgrimage. You led the children of Israel through the midst of the sea and by a star you led the wise men to the infant Jesus. Protect and guide those who set out to travel. Make their ways safe and their homecomings joyful and bring us at last to our heavenly home where you dwell in glory with your Son and the Holy Spirit, God forever. Amen. Thank you for those prayers. Lena, it's time for announcements. Do we have any this week? Well, we have a few. Uh, some of them are our standard every week announcements. One, please send us your prayer requests. And then again, please tell us when we can move them from concerns to thanksgivings, because that's the best part. Um, the doors may be shut, but the ministry continues. If you can add a little to uh, Father Gordon's discretionary fund or meals for the homeless in the glory hall or Head Start food ministry or other things that happen without from the, the church building itself and out into the community, please do so. You can send it to the church. You can do it online. Um, coffee hour is coming up. And if you want to join in on that or actually anything, centering prayer or the book discussion or whatever, let the office know and we'll make sure you get an invitation. Parish breakfast continues on Saturdays. And you have to bring your own breakfast because DLN can't virtually cook. But, you know, that way you get to choose whether you want eggs or bacon or something, oatmeal, whatever. Uh, but do join us for that one, too. And that one's also on Zoom. The next book discussion is the 23rd. And they're reading Timothy Egan's Pilgrimage to Eternity from Canterbury to Rome in Search of a Faith. And it's a great book. I've read this one. It's wonderful. You will not regret reading it. And finally, Mo Longworth is going to be doing some weekly online classes on health and energy balancing. And I commend you to look in the bulletin or online at Holy Trinity events that will talk more about what she means by that. Um, I think her words are better to discuss that than mine. And finally, also in the bulletin is our special events services. And so go in and take a look so that you know, you know the things coming up. We are continuing to do some of the things we've always done. We're just doing them differently. So talk to us about things you'd like to participate in. Um, Give us a call and say, oh, I want to help lead service, or I want to help do this or that. We would love to have you. Bruce, back to you. Thank you, Lena. Uh, we now do the commission. Go now into the world and live for Christ. Whatever you do, do it in honor of the Lord, giving thanks to God. Show forgiveness to one another, as in Christ you have received forgiveness. And may God provide an escape from all that threatens us. May Christ Jesus shower mercy on us and through us. And may the Holy Spirit uphold us as we stand in Christ. Amen. Go forth in the name of Christ. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. It's now time for our famous Zoom coffee hour invite you to join us if you are signed up for it. If not, you've missed it this time, but you can always sign up later. Send a note to the church and we'll make sure you're included in that. Have a great weekend and stay safe. Hope you're all well and hope you're in good spirits.